Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Today I'll be introducing a brand new print shop set called Peachy Keen. You can use this stamp and stencil combo to create beautiful backgrounds and fun focal points. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by creating a background using the stamp and stencil combo. And there are three stencils included in the set, steps one, two, and three, which are labeled in the etching on each stencil up here at the corner so you can see the various steps. There's also a stamp and stencil guide included in the set. Look for this tucked inside your package along with the stamps and the stencils. It's kind of easy to miss, so make sure you keep an eye out for it. It'll be facing backwards inside of your package of stamps and stencils. So keep an eye out for that. And then of course there is the, the stamp set also, which is a six by eight set and it includes everything you need for the background as well as doing some individual peaches and leaves and flowers for some pretty focal points. So lots of versatility in these print shop sets and really fun to use. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with an A2 panel of white cardstock. The stencils are designed to work perfectly for A2 sized cards. I like to use a cut up Cricut mat. Many of you have seen how I use these in my Misty as well to hold my paper in place. It's just an adhesive mat that keeps my cardstock in place while I'm stenciling. And I also I, like, I also like to treat my stencils with Pixie Spray, which is a stencil adhesive, and that helps to hold everything in place as well. But the sticky mat keeps my paper, my cardstock, from shifting around. So I'm going to go ahead and line up this A2 panel with the etched lines that are found on the stencil. And then I'm going to just go ahead and start stenciling my peaches, which is step one. I'm using Abandoned Coral and some uh, tailored Expressions uh, inking brushes, blending brushes. You can use whatever you'd like if you want, if you like to use the blending brushes, or sometimes I like to use the small finger sponges as well. So it's just whatever you like to use. Just make sure that you're getting in all of the corners and crevices of those stencils. I'm using both a clockwise and counterclockwise circular motion, kind of rotating back and forth between the two clockwise and counterclockwise, and that makes sure to get the ink into all those edges right up against the stencil. One of my favorite things about stenciling is the pretty ink blends that you can get. So now I'm going to go ahead and take some mustard seed distress oxide and I'm going to add some shading to our peaches to give them kind of a yellowy bright rosy glow. There we have some pretty ink blended peaches. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to stencil step two which are the leaves. And I'll go ahead and position my stencil and then go ahead and ink that. I'm using some mowed lawn ink and this time I'm going to be using a finger sponge just because there are a lot of little crevices and I just find it's easier and a little bit quicker to do it with the finger sponges versus the brushes. So you can see our pattern is building and now we have our peaches are surrounded by this pretty foliage and for the third step we're going to go ahead and stencil the flowers and once again I'll just line up that that uh, A2 panel with the etched lines on the stencil and you can check that everything's matching up as it should with your flowers and your leaves. I'm going to go ahead and stencil those. I'm going to use some ripe persimmon, which is a bright orange ink. I'm 
And there you can see we have filled in with some flower details and it's really fun to play around with different color combinations on these as well. You can make your, make your peaches more pink or more orange or more yellow and then the flowers of course you can play around with different color combinations for those as well. So now we're going to go ahead and add even more details with the matching stamps to our pretty panel. This is kind of the fun thing about the print shop sets. You can choose to leave it as simple as you'd like. Like you could just stop right here. Maybe I would go ahead and stamp the stems of the peaches at least. But you could otherwise go ahead and just leave that as is and keep it nice and simple. Or you can just add, go all out and add all of the different stamp details and make your panel really intricate and pretty. So I'm going to start off by stamping the leaves onto the background, which use this large leaf image, which is from the sheet of stamps. It's all in one, and I'm going to use it, uh, my Misty to stamp that. So I have that already set up here. And I'm using some Lucky Clover ink. Now we're going to go ahead and add the other details and that I am going to do just by stamping by hand with a block. You can add details to the peaches. There's large and small and these are labeled on the instruction sheet that's included with the set as well that they're all labeled so that'll help you a little bit identify what goes where and you can add this shading to the peaches. Those are looking so pretty. I love what the shading does to those and just really makes them really pretty and fun. So I'm going to go ahead and add the stamp details to all the flowers. There are again large and small flowers and those are all pointed out in the stamping guide as well. And then lastly, we can just go ahead and stamp the stems. And there we have this beautiful finished panel, which looks so much like pattern paper, and it was so fun to create. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to our new Print Shop Peachy Keen set. This set will be available for purchase beginning on Friday, July 17 at 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time.